like to discuss the electoral system, the political parties, and the civil society in Iran. First, let's begin with the elections in Iran. So we have the Mahlis, which is around 290 members. Um, they are like kind of like the parliament of Iran. Well, they are the parliament of Iran. And, you know, they get various people elected from all across Iran, usually in single member districts, but there are multi member districts where there's like five seats up and then there's like a bunch of candidates going to pick those five seats. The voters can pick um, five candidates to fill those five seats. I believe there's a requirement of 25% of the vote in those districts for someone to win office. And also in the Mahalas, there is five seats reserved for religious minorities. Of course, Iran is a Shia Islam majority country, but there are five seats, um, one for I believe Northern Armenian Christians, one for Southern Armenian Christians, one for Assyrians, one for Zoroastrians, and one for Jews. Assembly of experts, same single member district. President, however, is elected in the East and wide. You, in the first election or the first round of voting for the president, if there's not 50% of the vote for one candidate, there will be a runoff where a candidate will get over 50% of the vote. Now, looking at some specific elections, we have the two. 2000 Mahalis election where there was a lot of reformist candidates who did win there, possibly signaled some reform happening in Iran. Later in the 2009 presidential election, the incumbent president who was running for re-election suffered uh, what could be called an error at a debate. Brought a lot of interest into the election, but he did win by a large majority in the election or in the final results. A lot of people or a significant number of people in Iran believed it was fraudulent and they took to the streets over a million in Tehran. Or in the streets, later in the 2012 Mahalis election, one of the leading reformist parties just decided not to compete in the election. And then in the 2013 presidential election, there were eight candidates who were approved by the Guardian Council, two reformists, and then six of the conservatives. The political parties in 1987, the um, Supreme Leader banned political parties, but in 1998, the president legalized um, these parties once again, or helped to legalize these parties. In 2009, two reformist parties were banned from elections, and there are two main divisions in Iran um, politically, as they're not strong political parties. One of these main divisions is, of course, economic, whether it should be more people gaining wealth for themselves and private companies or there should be more of a public state run uh, enterprises. However, on the other hand, there is the more the political division between opening up to the world, more globalization, less of religions rule totally on, on society, but then there's the other side of, well, Islam should be one of the major things that rules the society of Iran. In 2020, the quote unquote what some people call with the conservatives their faction picked up 230 seats mahlis in the parliament and there were 40 there was 42.57 percent voter turnout in the 2020 mahlis election which was the lowest all-time foreign election in democratic or in the islamic republic of iran in modern iran now looking at some interest groups and social movements the 1990s reform movement really developed what the modern reformists look like today in Iran. There was the Green Movement in 2009 based off the election result that some people believed was over-exaggerated or incorrect or fraudulent for the winning candidate. And that was one of the large movement in Iran. There, um, there was some other people, much less the Green Movement was millions of Iranians. The Arabs, around the Arab Spring, there were like tens of thousands of Iranians who did believe that you know, there should be a movement in Iran similar to the, similar to what happened in Egypt and Tunisia and other states in the Middle East. And Mohammed Rasulov created a, some documentaries that critique the politics of Iran. Um, one of them was on the death penalty in Iran. And in 2020, he received 
one year or he was recommended to receive a one year jail sentence, a two year ban on creating films and ban from going to the Berlin Film Festival. This is what really the political parties, the political landscape in Iran looks like as there's no, as it, as is seen in many other countries, there's no super strong political parties or right and left that can be identified based off a leader or an image. It's more these loose groupings.